Hey, what's up everyone? Nearby Share for Android is a way to easily share files between Android devices. This feature is now being developed for Chrome OS, so you can share files between Chrome OS devices and between Chrome OS and Android devices. With the latest version of Chrome OS, you can try this feature out. It's not enabled by default because it's not really complete, but I'll show you how to get an early try of this feature. Okay, so let's enable nearby share in Chrome OS. First thing we need to do is bring up a Chrome web browser. And then we want to turn on some flags. So now let's enter the, the Chrome flag section. So type Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now the flags you want to look for are called, there's two flags that we need. The first one is called nearby share nearby sharing so you want to enable it that it's enabled you got, the, you got to get the restart down here but don't restart it yet we want to enable the other flag too the other flag we want to enable is the enable share sheet oh yeah the share sheet flag so here it is. So let's set it to enabled. And now we want to restart. But let me just quickly say what these two flags do. The first one, the nearby share flag enables nearby sharing, but doing that will only allow you to receive files from other devices. If you want to send files to other from the Chromebook to other devices, then you want to enable the share sheet flag. This will add nearby sharing to the share menu in Chrome OS. So now let's restart the Chromebook. Okay, now we're ready to share documents. Let's close this. And to begin sharing, you click on where the time is and you get a new icon saying nearby share. Let's turn it on by clicking on it. And you get a window asking you to name the device. I'll leave it as is. You can add whatever name you want. You want, now you have the device visibility window here. You can set this device to always be seen by your contacts or to always be seen by some contacts or to always be hidden and only accept documents and send documents when you actually press nearby share. Okay, I'll click hidden and I'll confirm. Okay, now we're ready to receive files. So I'll go onto my Android phone and pick up image to send to the Chromebook. Okay, so here I am on my phone. And in order to send a file from my phone to my Chromebook, let's say I wanna send a picture. I'll open up the gallery and let me choose one of these pictures to share. I'll hit the share button. Now I can either click nearby share, but we already see my Chromebook here listed. So let's click on that. And if we look at our Chromebook, we see an ID to confirm that it's coming from my Chromebook and I'll come, it matches my phone and it matches my Chromebook. So I'll click confirm and the file will start receiving. Okay, now we have the file on my Chromebook. Now, and we go to the download section, we'll see the screenshot that I just sent. And there it goes. Okay, now let's send the screenshot back to my phone. To do this, let's get on my phone and then bring down the notification tray and I'll, and I'll go and look at all these shortcuts and have a nearby share shortcut. I'll tap on it. Now my phone is ready to receive files from my Chromebook. So my Chromebook on the files app, if I click on one of these screenshots here and then click on the share button, I'll have a nearby share option. I'll tap on it. And now it's going to be searching for my phone and then my phone is found. I'll click on it. I'll click next. Now I'll go to my phone and we see that the Chromebook initiated a connection with my phone. 
We see the secure connection ID matches both the Chromebook and the phone. So I hit accept on my phone. Transfer is done. It's finished. I'm asked to open it up. I'll pick the gallery app. And this is the document that I sent. And that's nearby sharing from Chrome OS to Android and from Android to Chrome OS. Anyway, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And I'll speak to you next time.